Uh, hello, I'm Wenji, and uh, I'm a network research at Fermi Core Computing Division. Yes, we have a few uh, HPC clusters, like the we have a like for the uh, Air QCD cluster. The Air QCD, QCD is lattice uh, QCD. We use in the simulation to uh, experiment the uh, pattern at the uh, quark, how to understand the quark uh, interactions. So we use in the HPC to run the simulation. Uh, there are, we have three, four such cluster. Each has, the one cluster has 300 nodes, uh, one have 800 nodes, another one probably have 500 nodes. Uh, the advantage is InfiniBand can provide the uh, high throughput and low latency and the low CPU utilization because the uh, InfiniBand can provide the uh, lossless uh, switching fabric, so they can use in the RDMA on the uh, lossless uh, switching fabric and uh, uh, achieve the high throughput and the low latency. And also, all these technology, I mean, all these features are implemented on the hardware, so the, uh, it can uh, lead to the really low CPU utilization at the end host. It, it needs both the high throughput and also need the low latency. Because when we run the uh, LQCD simulations, they have a significant, a significant amount of the message to exchange. For this, they need high throughput. On the other hand, we want the, uh, this process to finish as soon as possible. We need the, the low latency to uh, communicate. So the, now the Ethernet community recently they are working on the uh, uh, lossless Ethernet that they call the converted Ethernet. For once they have the this technology for Ethernet, they have the uh, using the flow control at the, the low level and also the end-to-end -end congestion control at the low level. So the in the future, if the Ethernet can be uh, lossless. So, I mean, then we implemented the RDMA on top of it, so they pretty much pre uh, repeat the uh, similar uh, feature as InfiniBand. I mean, the performance can uh, be comparable, then we can uh, think about the, this technology.